Yo, what's going on my beautiful creatures of the interweb? My name is Timmy Turner and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to add LEDs to your Xbox Series X. Let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Okay, so first off you're obviously going to need your Xbox Series X. Uh, it's pretty important. And then you're going to need a T8 by 50 millimeter Torx screwdriver, which I will link in the description. Um, you can find it on Amazon pretty cheap. And then you're gonna need some very specific LED lights. Now they make a kit designed for the Series X on Amazon that you'll probably see in the other videos about this. Um, it's like 40 bucks and no, you don't need that. I'll link these as well. These are $12.99 and they work just as good, if not better. So when you open the LEDs, they're gonna come in a little roll just like this. We're just going to go ahead and tear that tape off, unravel this. and get these out of here. So I'm gonna set these to the side for a minute. Now also in that kit, you're gonna have your USB-A power adapter and your controller. And so we're just gonna go ahead and set that off to the side as well and get this Xbox open. So to open your Xbox, you're gonna grab your, this is, this is the only tool you're gonna need by the way, is this T8 Torx screwdriver. So as you can see, we got, now yours will be covered, there'll be a sticker here. I've already had LEDs in here once before, um, so that's why there's not, but yours will have a sticker here. So what you're just gonna do, either peel that sticker back or just shove your screwdriver in right about here and find the uh, threads and then just poke a hole in it. That's what I did right here. I just poked a hole in this sticker. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take off one. And now make sure you don't lose these. These are very important. So obviously you wanna set these to the side somewhere where they're not gonna fall. And then go ahead and unscrew this one. Okay. And that's it for the back. Okay, so now that we got the screws out, ideally you're gonna want a little flathead screwdriver like this. I know not everybody has these available, so just a normal size. This this is a miniature one, but the, the bit's normal size, so you can just use a normal flathead, and I'm just gonna use this to demonstrate that. Now be very careful whenever you do this. You just wanna get under here, and kinda of gently pry up on here until you can get your hand under here. Okay, just like so. Now just be very careful whenever you do these. You don't wanna break these tabs. So you're just gonna grab both sides, lift up, and that'll come right off like that. Now we're gonna set that to the side. So now I'm looking at the device from the bottom up. Let me zoom out so I can show you. So here's the bottom of the device, here's the top. Now I'm gonna zoom in and show you what we're going to unscrew now. Sorry for the wobbly camera. So we're gonna undo this, this, and this guy over here. Now these two on the sides will be easy. The one in the middle might take a little more strength. Um, you're not gonna break anything. Just don't press down with a lot of force, obviously. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get these babies out of here. Okay, now that those three screws are out, there is one last step you need to take to get the fan out. And that is this little connector right here. So for this, it's really simple to get out. There's just a tab on the right hand side, right in here. You're just gonna wanna press in on that tab and gently pull on these black cables right here. Just as simple as that. Now that that's out, you just want to grab with both fingers, either side of the fan shroud like this, and it'll pull on right out of there. Okay, so now that our fan shroud is out of the Series X, um, mine has tape around it because like I said, I already had LEDs inside of it. And um, I ordered new ones because I didn't do it very well the first time. And so I'm showing you guys the proper way to do it now. So I'm gonna pick this tape off here real quick and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I got that cleaned off. Um, yours is just gonna be black. 
I know I have some residue on mine, it shouldn't affect anything, but anyway, setting that off to the side, let's go back to our lights. So you'll see there's this blue strip on the back of your lights. You just want to separate that blue strip from the white, like this, and just peel the blue strip off. all the way. Get rid of that. And now this stuff is super sticky. It's already trying to stick to the uh, desk, so you don't have to worry about it coming off. Um, like I said, the only reason I replaced my, this is the same set I had on here originally. Only reason I replaced it is I didn't do it the correct way. And so it was um, just not very good looking to say the least. So anyways, so now what you wanna do, you have two ends. You have an end with little prongs on it and then you have an end that doesn't have little prongs on it. So you wanna take the end that doesn't have little prongs on it Find the three indentions, I guess you could say, on your fan shroud. And you're gonna feed it through right there, just like that. Okay, so now that it's fed through, we're just going to go ahead and take it all the way through, as far as we can. It'll kind of get stuck to stuff, so just be wary of that. All right, I know I'm not very graceful about this. So you wanna leave a little bit hanging out. I'd say like eh, maybe an inch hanging out of the back like this. And then you're just going to turn the lights, stick it to the side of your fan shroud. Like so. Now you wanna make sure you leave about a centimeter of room between the fan blade and the lights, obviously, so that it doesn't rub and, and hit, um, cause that wouldn't be good. Okay. Now, as you'll see, I have quite a bit of room left or quite a bit of lights left rather. So the cool thing about these lights is they're actually cuttable. So grab you a pair of skizzers and cut off at the um, gold part right here. Go ahead and give it a nice little snip. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this here, just like so. And this is what it should look like. So. Keep in mind, we have this hanging out the back. We have about a centimeter of clearance so that our fan shroud is not rubbing on the lights in any sort of way. And make sure you're pressing after all this is done to get it to really adhere to your fan because you don't want these coming off and blocking your fan. So I'm gonna say mine's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the next part. Okay, so we have our console again. Now we're gonna grab our fan shroud. And obviously you're gonna make sure that whenever you put it back in here, you're lining up the indentions on the fan shroud with the little rails on the side of your console. So it'll just, and it really kind of mostly lines itself up. So you'll just slide it on in here like so. Okay, and now the important thing to note is that our black wire is in the back as well as our wire from the LEDs is in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our wire Give it a nice little tug just to make sure it ain't gonna come out. Nothing too crazy because you don't want to rip the wires off. But okay, so our fan is now plugged in. Now we're going to go ahead and take our screws and screw them back into place. So just remember, you got one here on the very left. We got one on the very far right. And then we have our big circular one right here in the middle. Go ahead and snug it up just a hair. Okay, now what you wanna do is just gently tug on your fan, make sure it's in place, it ain't going nowhere. Good there. So now you're just gonna grab the back of your Xbox right here. 
obviously your um, cutouts for your ports are going to go towards the bottom and this is going to go in the top so what you're going to do stick it in vertically like this as you can see i'm holding it up like this and then i fed my um wiring through that little hole and we're going to go ahead and close it up leave it sitting with a little bit of a gap right here make sure our wires out okay everything's lined up so now we're just going to gently press in on the tabs at the very bottom right here and then push down and now on the sides you're just gonna gently press down and you'll hear it snap in okay the back is back on now we're gonna grab our two green screws okay and now we're gonna screw the top one back in. Now, while I'm screwing these in, um, I know I'll get some questions about warranty. Um, now, I am obviously not an attorney. I don't know if this is true, but what I've been told is if you live in the United States, you actually have the right to open this device to perform any maintenance um, or repairs. And so no, this won't void warranty. If you do have a warranty claim, just simply repeat this process, get your lights out, It'll leave residue. Um, if you take isopropyl alcohol and just rub it around the edge, it'll get rid of that residue. I was just too lazy to do that if I'm being honest here. So uh, anyways, <laughs> on to the next part. Okay, so at this point, you want to grab your little baggie with your remote and your um, USB-A receiver. So we're going to keep the receiver with the little tie on it. We're not gonna, we're not gonna remove this tie. We're gonna keep it just like this. And you're just going to simply plug in your lights right here just like so and then down here where your USB is plug in your USB just like so now this is optional um, there is some stickiness on the back of this you can stick it to the back like this if you want to um, you don't have to so anyways Let's go ahead and fire these babies up and um, see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished product. You got your remote right here. Um, the only downside to this is, as you can see, my device is not currently on. If you want to turn it off, you gotta physically turn it off every time you're done playing the Xbox. Now you can control the brightness with the remote. There's different modes on here. You know, we got flash, which I think is what I have on right now. We got strobe. We got the fade, we got, what's this, smooth. Now I think you can also, yep. So with these buttons also, not only does it control the brightness, but it also controls the intensity of the special modes. So as you can see, if I want it to go faster, I hit up, it goes faster, slower, I'll just hit down. Um, so anyway, or you can just set it to a single color. That's it, super simple thing to do, super clean. guys so it's been Timmy Turner again and I really hope you enjoyed this video I try to make it as uh, quick as possible for you guys and as simple as possible um, now keep in mind I don't do this for a living this is my first time ever opening a console or an electronic device of any sort um, so if I can do it you guys can do it don't be discouraged by it just follow these steps precisely and you'll be okay um, anyways if this helped you go ahead and drop a like Smash that subscribe button and stay tuned because I'm going to be pumping out a lot more videos. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm out. Deuces.